All right, today let's have a look at a place called Cavan Lake. Now, I used to fish at this place, oh, 60 years ago, 50 years ago. Uh, maybe it's been 40 years since I've been to this lake here. There is no water left, hardly any. Um, I don't know, you can see already, the land right underneath me here used to be underwater. There were no islands at this place. There's no trees at all, there never was. But uh, like that island there, and the uh, all the islands here, there, there never was an island at this place. It was all covered. You can see how high the water was at one time. And now it's just, you could probably see the bottom uh, all the way, all, like on the whole lake. There is another part of the lake almost straight behind me here that um, I haven't flown over there. That looks like where most people would go. Um, I don't even know if anybody puts a boat in here. It's a long way from where, where the boat launch is uh, down to the water like it should be it should have been years ago just right there uh, you'll see it here in a minute once we get turned around that's the uh, campground down there with all the RVs my drone went into ATTI mode ATTI mode for some reason that's why the horizon is not straight ATTI mo mode means that it has altitude hold uh, it'll stay at a certain altitude, but the wind will will push it around. Um, it'll tip, like you see there, the, the horizon tips. Uh, there's no control over the camera uh, and uh, like uh, left and right. It's just um, up and down. I can still do it. But uh, so we once it gets into the GPS mode again, then everything is good. But that's the other lake over there, straight ahead of us. Uh, not anymore. This is a different part here. Uh, back to the islands. Now you can see how um, how much the water has gone down. Let's sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Not necessarily to enjoy the lake. Everything in front of us here was all underwater at one time, except the bushes. But beyond that, I'll come down for. I got some barn swallows flying around me here. I guess they don't like the noise. And that is where the uh, parkade is, where you can park your vehicle or tent that's where the boat launch is supposed to be it's way down there to the water <laughs> a little bit of a flight down the road here where they uh, come in and out for parking their trailers another look at the lake here and then back home to park or to land and then we'll take off again and go to another spot here. That's just the place I was parked for the day. I didn't go into the campground at all. Well, 
I took the drone up a second time with a second set of batteries here and it went into uh, ATI mode again. I don't know how how to stop that. Um, ATI mode is you have to keep your fingers on the on the um, sticks because uh, the wind will it was a little windy that day too so it blows you around blows the drone around and you can see it's tipping from side to side as opposed to a straight horizon until the GPS kicks in again and then everything uh, straightens out but it's almost like you can see the bottom here or, or the weeds or something it's just like horrendous like look at that how far up the water was at one time you can see beyond the road or what oh, that this lighter colored all this place here was all underwater and I imagine the farmers around the area are using it for irrigation and we're into Addy mode again right over the lake we may as well bring her back home safely while we're still under some sort of GPS mode here And there's uh, the trailers there. I mean, there's only trees in the trailers. There's no trees around otherwise. <laughs> you wonder who would come here to stay here. $25 a night to stay. I think that's probably with full hookup. <laughs> 